The ancient Egyptians, some 4,500 years ago, built pyramids to bury the pharaohs and their queens. Ancient Egypt has some of the most haunted history and mystery stories of the world. Tonight I'm going alone to investigate a modern pyramid structure that's said to be plagued by a curse of the pharaoh himself and many hauntings have been reported, leaving people curious as to why. Welcome to another haunted adventure with your boy Omar. Today I am here alone in Las Vegas. Just came over from Southern California, about a four hour drive from where I was at. I was in Santa Ana. Well anyways, I am here. A lot of you have been asking me to come to the Luxor Hotel. Pretty awesome place. I've been wanting to come here for a really long time. Now there is two areas to stay in. You can stay in the Pyramid part which was inspired by the by the great pyramid in, in egypt or they have some towers in the back both are very nice but i figured to get the best experience possible to come stay in the actual pyramid and you can see based on the shape of my room that we are in the pyramid we're gonna go outside in a little bit. We are pretty lucky though, because it is rather slow here at the Luxor. I don't think they allow filming when it comes to the body exhibit. Yeah, that's right, they do have real dead bodies here, but there's been so much crazy things that have happened here. Suicides, just bad luck. I don't know, we're gonna get to the bottom of it. I have never done, I mean, I've never been here. Actually, wait a minute, I have been here before. I did visit here once in 2018, and it was for a Chris Angel performance. And I just found out that Chris Angel doesn't even perform here anymore. He performs at Planet Hollywood now, which is kind of cool. So yeah, he's, and he's been here for the longest time, but I didn't know this until today too. The pyramid, well, you know, the, the Luxor, there's a light that shines to the sky and supposedly it is the brightest light in the entire world. In fact, there's pilots and airplanes in California that are able to see that light all the way from California. In just a little bit, we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you around the hotel. It's pretty awesome. They also have a Titanic exhibit, which I mentioned. I mean, there's just a lot of weird things that are here in this one place. I did bring my spirit box. We're gonna have a great time tonight. Also gonna film myself sleeping into the night. We are on the sixth floor, which happens to be one of the most haunted floors. This place is massive. I'm gonna show you around. Let's go, and then we're gonna come back here, do some spirit boxes. What's good, fam? Who wants some ribs for dinner? Yo, there's like meat still on this. Yummy. This is cool, though. It's hard to believe that this at one point was a human just like me. Walking around, talking, laughing, getting mad, going pee-pee, going caca. Got a baby's head in here, too. Very cool stuff here. These are real human body parts. So we started out like with the skeletons and now they're showing us the muscles. It's actually pretty cool. But I mean, it's hard not to just look and be like, yo, this is a human being that once lived before. And there is a little bit more down below. I'm not gonna show it though, cause I'm sorry, bro. I don't, I don't wanna put you out there like that. But I do appreciate what you're doing. I mean, this is cool. I mean, to the families that lost this individual, I mean, this person was loved once before and they offered to donate their body to educate people on our human anatomy. How cool is that? What is this? Dude, look at that. That's a human leg. I mean, there's like body parts everywhere. Oh my gosh.
one thing I wish they showed more of is, I mean, not showed, but like, it'd be nice to, to know how old this human body is, you know, and maybe how old they were when they passed. I mean, look at his eyeballs. There's part of his brain in there. You know, I'm sorry if, if this, uh, I, I'm gonna put a warning before showing this part of the video, uh, but, but it is cool. It, it is pretty cool. Who was this person? beforehand so bad want to break out my spirit box do a spirit box here but got cameras all over me i don't even know if i'm supposed to be filming this we're like legit here alone right now we got some human organs here blood vessels of the heart. Check that out. And this is um, your appendix or blood vessels of the, these are all blood vessels. That's not even the organ. <laughs> Looks like a coral. Like this is inside of us. Isn't that cool? I'm legit blown away right now. Did not realize how many arteries we have. I mean, just in our arm. Look at this. What a work of art. I mean, it's hard not to notice that, you know, these arteries are so small. I mean, I, I mean, are those, those little, that's arteries? I always thought arteries were the, uh, well, those are vein. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, it says arteries, see? Arteries of the upper limb. I mean, that's amazing. All right, it says, now take a deep breath. Whoa. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. Showing us, you know, maybe people come in here and they, they're like, all right, I'm gonna quit smoking because I seen this. This is a smoker's lungs. And you could read that if you want, versus healthy lungs. I mean, they both look like mushrooms to me, honestly. Just one looks a little darker than the other, but <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, unhealthy lungs, healthy. I mean, you could tell the difference right away. And look at that cancer that was cut off of someone's lungs. It's actually quite inspiring that they put this here for people to quit smoking. And there's also the electronic cigarettes in there too. I mean, look at that, tons of cigarettes. I'm willing to put some money on my stomach being a lot bigger than this. You say that's what, that's what the stomach looks like, but maybe it is. Yeah, after you eat a Jimmy John sandwich, a foot long, it has to fit in there. Yo, this is cool. That is a little baby at eight weeks. I mean, just look, he's, look how small he is. And then 14 weeks. Then we have 16 weeks. You see, they start coming together. And then 20 weeks. It's a little person. And then a, a little baby, 22 weeks. I would love to come here in the middle of the night. There's a All the lights off. But yeah, I'm here alone. Just the cleaning lady. Get ready to close. I was lucky enough to be able to come in here and have the place to myself, which is great. What is this? Oh, wow. Look at, we're even going further back. He's a, here's the prequel, guys. It's the prequel. Uh, four weeks old. Oh, it's a little baby. It's like a little peanut. Watch up, Bob. Watch up. So we're getting to more complete humans now. The place is huge. There's a lot. Oh, wow. Look, this is a human body, like piece by piece. Up to the, up to the head. See that? That's so cool. What's your story, man? Wish we knew his name. Thanks for being here. May you rest in peace. I'd love to do some research on like the bodies that are actually here. You know, could you imagine being a family member of some of the bodies here? I mean, maybe there were bodies that were found and I don't know. I don't know the story behind that, but they have to have a story. Got a burger from Johnny Rockets. 
it's really late. I'm surprised they're even open. If you want a bite? It's a vegetarian burger. It's a Beyond Burger. So where we're at right now, a woman committed suicide from, I believe it was the 26th floor or the 23rd floor, and she landed here. This was, from what I was told, the buffet, and now it is a food court. Let me show you around. So she threw herself from one of those balconies, and she landed down here. It was probably from up here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't even know that was that many stories high. But here is food court. Got giant rockets here. And they're open late if you want to get some breakfast. Belly subs over there. Well, look who's performing tonight. Mr. Carrot Top. So right here is where they have the Titanic exhibit. I hear they have like shoes of people that were on the Titanic. I mean, all kinds of artifacts, like real artifacts. I mean, there's like so many front entrances. This is where all the casinos are. There's so many of them. A lot of Egyptian culture for sure. Dang, look at this model of the Titanic. Wow, how long do you think that took to make? I mean, that thing's huge. It's almost the size of the Titanic. I don't know if you know this, but it was on the Titanic's maiden voyage. Well, I mean, not on the same day, but just a couple days later is when it crashed. So it, it only sailed off one time. It was in its first trip. Never knew that. If you ever stay at the Luxor, I mean, uh, I don't know. The, the elevator I just got off of right now was scary. I mean, I had never been on an elevator like that. It's funny because the gentleman that I was on the elevator with or right before we got on, he was like, yo, these elevators are no joke. Sometimes they will open up on their own at different floors. And wouldn't you know, it went to the second floor as we were going up and there was nobody on the second floor waiting for it like oh it's kind of weird yeah it's scary it just kind of like moves around goes side to side but we're on the sixth floor i was trying to find how to get up to the 23rd floor i guess that's on another elevator i am in room 6155 which happens to be all the way at the end over there and there's no elevator over there there's a set of stairs my room is at the end of this enormous hallway. However, there is a nice view, pretty nice view over here. See that? That way you can kind of see everything. I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, it was like 23 floors or 26 floors. I mean, this is the sixth floor. This is really high up. Now there's a lot of other stories of not only hauntings, but suicides, real suicides that have happened here at the Luxor. I'm not gonna get into any of those stories. I, I just wanted to mention the the one that happened when, I mean, not really that long after this place had opened in 96, I believe. My honest opinion, I mean, there, there's a lot of haunted stories here at the Luxor, and we're gonna get some some more details, especially when we, when we do the spirit box sit down. I feel like this place is haunted because of the Egyptian culture. That's that's my opinion. Maybe, like I mentioned earlier, maybe, maybe Egyptians put a curse on this place Maybe it was the Egyptian gods themselves that didn't like that this place was constructed. Maybe they looked at it as a mockery. I don't know. Let's go in the room. I'm getting tired. We're gonna film ourselves sleeping, but before we do that, we're gonna try to reach out to the spirits here at the Luxor. I was gonna film using this, but it gets way too much attention. I mean, we're in Las Vegas. It's busy down there. People are at the casinos. There's people drinking and Last thing that I want to do is bring attention to myself, trying to film with a big old camera. Look, look at the body behind me. Want, want to see that? Isn't it cool? Yeah, no, this would get way too much attention. Hey guys, you want a bite of my hamburger? I mean, Beyond Burger? So what am I using? I'm using my iPhone, which I use every once in a while. I do film my vlogs on my iPhone 11 Pro, but this is my main camera that we're gonna use. And we're also going to be filming myself sleep. I'm going to use my laptop for that. It's going to be a private live stream. Let's reach out to the spirits. Let me get my spirit box. All right, fam, we're going to do a spirit box session here in my room. I'm not sure we're going to come across. For any reason, you feel like you want to do a spirit box session. Maybe someone's passed, or maybe you have a presence in your home that you wish to communicate with. I don't want to be responsible, though, for anything bad happening. Please say a prayer before and after using something like this. 
I do have this spirit box available down in the description. It's pretty awesome. Make sure to use my link. But like I said, use it responsibly because there are times where demonic entities can attach themselves using something like this. So please be very careful. We want to communicate to the spirits here at the Luxor, the Great Pyramid. Are there any spirits here with us? How many spirits are here with us? What's your name? Every time you ask for a name, you get like, I get like five names. What? Yeah, is there, is there a man spirit here or a woman? Or both? Wait. What are we waiting for? Spirits. Is the room is the room that I'm staying in? It's doing a lot of talking. So why is it so haunted here? Is this place cursed? So what about the woman on the 26th floor? No. Was she was she in any kind of trouble? Was there any kind of entity attached to her? Why did she do what she did? I want to talk to that that spirit. I want to talk. Yes, talk. I want to talk to the to the woman that threw herself from the 26th floor. What's your name? I want to know your name. No. What's your story? Mirror? What about the mirror? You want me to look through the mirror? Let's look through the mirror. You know, one thing I notice is that like right where you sleep, there's some Egyptian symbols that I don't even know what their meaning is. And there's some right here. Ooh. Neil? I said something about a mirror. There's a mirror in here. Hello? What the f I'm guessing somebody probably knocked on the wrong door. Unless it was one of these neighbors. I don't know why, but anytime you mess around with that spare box, I mean, things do happen. Um, I, I don't know if that was something paranormal. I could probably put money on it that it was probably somebody in one of these rooms. Maybe they accidentally knocked on this door and they were like, oh, oops. I don't know, it was kind of, was, that was quick. I came out here as soon as I heard it. Who is outside right now? Mm -hmm. 
I still want to talk to the woman that committed suicide. What's what's your name? I know it's been a long time since you've been gone. Are you resting in peace? Who's out there? There is somebody walking way over there, but they're walking towards me and it's on the opposite end. I think that's just a hotel guest. I'm like mind after, if you will. Like what caused my door to open. First I heard a knock and then my door opened. Well, I think I might have left the door open. So did somebody come by? There was nobody out here though. So this is the room that I'm staying in. If any of you want to sleep in this room too. All right, we're gonna close the door this time. Hopefully we don't hear any more knocks. I mean, it is windy. I will say that it is very windy in Vegas. All right, fam, I'm gonna go ahead and start going to bed. It's about two o'clock in the morning. If you know anything about West Coast time, it's three hours behind what I'm used to, so it's about five o'clock in the morning. So I'm pretty tired. I know it doesn't look like I'm tired, but it's a very interesting spirit box session. I'm not sure if somebody was trying to play a prank on me out there. Maybe it was, I think it was the neighbors next door. But I don't know. I don't even know if there's anybody next door. I did hear some children kind of laughing, but I'm tired. And I know as soon as I hit that bed, I'm gonna be out, just like last night. So, let's do this. I guess this fell out. Hope I caught that on camera.
If it's yellow, let it mellow. I had a pretty interesting sleep. It's 11 o'clock. Good thing I have this room for another night because I may record myself again. Let me know if you want to see that. It's been a great experience here at the, at the Luxor room 6155. I believe that's the room that I'm staying in if you want to request it. This may, I mean, I don't know. This door was open and I was kind of peeking in there, but I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and watch the footage. Um, other than than seeing that in the morning, I I don't really recall hearing anything or feeling anything in the middle of the night. Like I said, I have to go back and, and watch some of the footage, but let me know if you want to see more videos here. I'm thinking about doing a ghost hunting video in the body exhibit that I showed you and doing a spirit box communication with one of the bodies. Let me know if that's something that you want to see. And also let me know if you want me to do a ghost hunting video in the Titanic exhibit because there's a lot of artifacts of the Titanic, the real Titanic that sunk. There's a worker in there that says that every once in a while they'll show here something walking through the hallways, whistling, pretty crazy stuff. Some cold spots, some dark shadows. I'm going to try to make that happen for you. I'm going to need a good amount of likes on this video. I usually aim high, but I don't know. Some of you have been a little cheap with that like button lately, so I hate to say it, I'm gonna aim, I'm gonna aim like at an average number. Uh, I, I would say if I if I get about 20,000, you know what, 25,000. Titanic is a big deal. Those bodies are a big deal. I gave you some great content today, so it's the least you can do. Hit that like button. I filmed myself sleeping. This battery is just about dead. It was a brand new, it's a huge battery, by the way, on this camera. Thank you guys so much for your support. These videos are so much fun to make. I do get a lot of you reaching out and thanking me, you know, and, and no need to. I mean, I, I have I have a great time being able to travel and bring you content. I mean, it is hard work. I'm not gonna lie, it cost me money. Been here a couple of nights, and I mean, it. you know what? It's, it's during the week, so it's not too bad, but it does cost me money. So it doesn't cost you anything to hit that like button. Sorry if I'm, I'm begging for likes. I am going to be begging for likes, okay? Because some of you guys are begging for content, and I spend money making content. So I'm going to beg for a like. Like the video, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your continued support. If you're not following me on my vlog channel, I do upload some videos there too. Be sure to check it out. Got to go for now before we leave. Give me kids.